and welcome back to Richard Bulls with Just Get Strong at Tsuji. Today we have some more advanced problems, starting with problem number 102. Black is looking to capture all of these white stones in the corner. How does Black do this? Black's move is to descend with a single stone here. This is the two stone tower Tsuji you may have heard of. And if white resists by ataring this stone, that's okay. Black ataris this, putting these three stones in atari. White will need to capture. And then this is the Tsuji, black throws in, and Atari's these three. And now this giant blob of stones is captured. Moving on to problem number 119, how does black capture these four stones? Black's move is the calm and collected extension here. He need not worry about this lone stone getting cut off, and that's exactly what white's going to do. Uh, because in response, he will play this Hane. And now these four stones are captured. If white turns here, he just connects, and likewise just connects. But again, these stones are captured. From number 126, black is looking to capture these three stones of whites. How does he do this? Black's move is the diagonal here. And when white plays here, black needs to play here. If black does not finish it up by going here and say place elsewhere, then white has this throw in and squeeze and will capture these stones. So taking that extra liberty off of that stone is, is important because now the throw-in doesn't work, black just captures. If black plays anything else, say this move, then black will lose because white will push and then throw in and then Atari, but he, black can't save these stones because they're shortage of liberty, so black will just capture. Similarly, if black tries going the other way, white does the same thing. Uh, except for when black plays here, white can play this move directly. This is effectively just like that snapback we saw before. Moving on to problem number 146, how does black kill these three white stones? Black's move is to make the bamboo joint here, and this move is what captures all of white stones. Um, if white ataris this stone, for instance, then black ignores it and makes an eye for himself. Uh, when white captures, Black will go here just to seal it in, but this is a simple case of eye versus no eye. White does not have an eye here and cannot capture these black stones. If white pushes in here and ataris these stones first, then black connects. And if white then tries to do this sort of atari, then black sets up a squeeze with this move. If white captures, black ataris this single stone and wins the capturing race like this. Moving on to problem number 169, black is looking to capture all of the white stones in the corner here. How does he do this? Black's move is to descend to the 2-1 here. And if white Hane is here, black will attire the single stone here. Now these two stones are able to connect because white can't play here because it's self atari So these stones are connected to that. White effectively only has one eye. If instead of Haneying, white plays here, then black still ataris this stone, and then plays something like here, white still only has one eye. If instead of descending with this move, black plays atari here, then white will play here himself, and now white has two eyes. Just uh, for a simple continuation, if black descends, white can connect, and even if black tries to link up with that stone, doesn't matter, white will play here. This prevents black from connecting because white can atari here. Uh, it also solidifies white's eye or second eye right here this is where white's second eye is coming from if black then pulls back to save the single stone white will play here attiring all this and now white has two eyes one here and one here um, black can get a peep here later but it doesn't matter problem number 172 starts out like this how does black save his group of stones here while also capturing white's group of four Black's move is this shape here. This gives him an eye. Uh, from here, black will win the capturing race because he is one liberty ahead of this one. In order to start the capturing race, white needs to start with the outside liberty here, uh, in which case black will respond by taking this one. White can then play this one, and then black will play the last liberty here. Again, this is eye versus no eye. White cannot take the last liberty here, even if, say, white threw in first. Therefore, black wins. If instead of this move, black plays a move like this, then this move kills black. 
If Black, instead of protecting his group, tries to start the capturing race by taking Alta Liberties first, then White will play here himself, threatening to link up over here. So if Black tries to block, then White can poke up in here, poking out the eye. Black cannot cut off this group, and so must connect, which allows White to connect and put all this group in Atari. If Black tries to take the outside liberties first, White still Atari's at single stone. Um, and then if Black blocks from the outside, it, it's pretty much game over right away with this move because it's Atari immediately. So that is it for another advanced set of Tsuji problems. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.